Young Harris, Georgia. Doesn't sound like a real place, and I may have it wrong. We are headed to, yes, I just looked at it again. Young Harris, Georgia. It's absolutely beautiful up here. We are going to look at a Suzuki sidekick that we found on the Facebook. nicer than I think any Walmart I've ever seen. Uh oh, where's this guy? He's, he's headed the wrong direction. Now we gotta think through this situation. Because I am pulling a trailer. It's so pretty. I like it. It is pretty, like isn't it? Stonework. Stonework is quiet. I need to go up there and tap on it with my knuckles like old men do. That's some quality stone you got right yonder now. What you talking about? Now we need to go to the air park. Okay. 15 miles to go.
Round and around we go. Hey Siri, what's my altitude? You're about 1,901 feet above sea level. Oh, we went down. 16 miles. Had to go make a U turn to get past Walmart. Gas is three dollars and seven cents at that Walmart. It's three thirteen back near the base camp. It's like three twenty back down in the town. But I learned a long time ago. Sometimes it's not worth driving five miles out of the way through traffic to go to Sam's to save three dollars. That's my tip of the day. We're in Blairsville now. I only know that because I saw a sign and it opened up my eyes. Look at this, uh, this brake line. You ever seen a Mustang without a body? Now you have. I'm in the wrong lane. I know. I'm going to have an accident. Check it out. Alright, I was a little late on pushing the button, but we are now 40 thank you. 37 thank you. We are now in Young Harris, which is an interesting name for a town because now I've got to stop and say, who is Harris? Who is Harris and how young was he? Could have been a girl. There's the YH Wing House. Just nobody wants to write down that they're from a town called Young Harris. So they just say YH. Young Harris College. There's a lot going on here at Young Harris. Young Harris College. Estimated 1886. That's not what that means, dude. It means it was established. You gotta get all mad about it. I just missed our turn. See what happens when you start playing around? But the good thing is about Young Harris, they have a turnaround by every silver and red. Water outlet. Oh look, we have bag trees and they have bottle poles, bottle trees. I missed our turn. That's a big old house over here in Young Harris. Georgia Agritorium. Huh. Must be where they sell tomato plants. Speed limits 35. Oh, we're on Route 66. You get your kicks. Morning, North Carolina. Six miles. We're only six miles from North Carolina. I think no way. Really? Did you see that? No, I was looking at my phone. Oh, you're missing all the good stuff. Cherry blossom over there on the right, also known as a dogwood, also known as Bradford pears. Actually, they're not the same, I know. Look, you're missing it. 3.1 miles to. We are almost there. Actually, 4.4 4 miles. That's a pretty up here. That is pretty. 1.9 miles, and we turn. This is so. 6.22 p.m. at the base camp, 7.22 here. We're running out of daylight. We need enough daylight to get in it, under it, over it, and then drive it down the road. This is so pretty. And do that right there. I know a lot of y'all probably live in the mountains. So this isn't very impressive to you, but we're in the Appalachian chain and we live at the foothills of the Appalachians and I've got to pay attention. You gotta turn left in half a mile. You gotta turn left. Oh, we're turning on KCR. Oh, look at those houses. Keep Cove Road, we're on our channel now. Oh, there it is. 1989. True JDM vehicle. Made in Japan. We did it. We bought it. That's not the, not the beauty queen like my bride's was, but 
It's nice. These had to come off. That has to come off. The goal is make it purple like the other one. Yeah, I bought it without trying to four wheel drive, but it's this thing that doesn't go on there. Just take the thing off and put the real ones off. So these wheels will be going away. What do you think? Pretty cool. We'll look at it in the daytime. We got about a million hour drive to get back. I didn't even look at the top. It has a top. Let's go. Day next. What we do like, or what she likes better, is the seats because they look like couches from the 80s. Compared to these. Especially that one with blood all in the seat. What I don't like, let me show you what we've learned. There's no handles to, to crank the windows up and down. But, there's no bride. There's switches right there that do it. This sucker's got a whole lot of nasty going on. So the carpet was, looks like it was gray back there. Somebody's painted it in the past 10 years. They kind of did a halfway job. Had a, huh? It was red. Hey, it was sort of red. But it was advertised, and not to the fault of the previous owner we bought it from, but I think whoever sold it to them said that it was towed behind an RV. I don't know anyone who tows one of these behind an RV that would have subwoofers in it, or woofers, whatever these are called. Look at these things. I didn't even know they were back there. And I'm beginning to wonder if the last... Owner's new. Isn't that what it is? A subwoofer? I don't know what it is. And that. Another sign of proof that anyone who could afford an RV big enough to tow something behind. Now that could be just stereotyping Did older. Did you take down that uh, little... Wealthy people. Yeah, I got it. She just jumped up there and got right in our way. Sorry. Oh, I'm just kidding. Is the 2000 model taillights that are clear. Another thing that makes it seem like a kid owned it or somebody who didn't know what they're doing. They put these center caps back on, which don't go to a four-wheel drive, and they cut that out and did a very bad job. Another thing I didn't know when I got it. I don't know where she went. Hey, baby, you hold this hood up. The four-wheel drive does not work. That was my fault because I didn't test it. I'll, let me put it this way. The transfer case shifts into four high four low and two high that one spins fine the other one does not change another sign that a kid owned it or someone who didn't know, know what they were doing ah. sorry is this header it makes it loud it smells like cat tt it does, and it smells like cat tea, but that may be the stray cat. Okay. The neighborhood. It's got, I forgot what the name of the header is. Th wow, that's hot. <laughs> Thorley headers. It simply makes it rumble. <laughs> this update I did is because when you crank it, it does this. When you're driving down the road. 
Nobody would put this hideous monstrosity on an 80 horsepower engine and really think they're going to get about a half more horsepower out of it to go. So that's my assessment. I want the old um, of this lights. beast. So we're swapping the headlights out, tail lights out. Oh, this right. doesn't work either. So if somebody didn't fix it. They simply bent this up and wedged everything in there. This goes back down. There's a little plastic uh, oh, it does smell like fitting in here. Let me smell. I know we're being picky, but but we got a bunch that we can pull. From. Yeah, we got a lot of parts. Those tires are 2017s. These are 2023s. So you know what's going to happen there. This is red. This is purple. This is going to be purple eventually. Are you striking a pose? No. In your morning gear? Baby, you're pretty all the time. But you, but you don't need no filter. So, we're going to take these lights off. And put them on there. I'm probably going to take this hitch off. And replace it with the one that's on there. Because that other one's got a little rust on it. Huh? I think the windshield on this one's better. So keep this windshield. <laughs> we'll keep that windshield. Actually, the paint job on here is not bad. I don't know how to paint a car, so the last thing I should have said was yeah, it looks fine to the me. paint job isn't good. I apologize in case you're watching it. Oh, you don't have to. <laughs> I know. You don't have to hold that anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> you gotta go. I'll close it. Okay. Hold on. I got it. What I do like about it. It is a JDM, true JDM. It is the first year made, I think, made in Japan. JDM is a Japanese domestic model, I think. That one is made in Canada. Nobody even knows where Canada is. What is uh, What? Some more differences in an 89. Oh, here's another oddball update. You got a couple of options here. You can take the key, which no one knows where that is. Um, okay. Oh. <laughs> I thought I moved it somewhere. I usually move it and forget. And you can crank it with two clicks. You hear the header. Nobody wants this car to sound like that. Or you can turn the key on. Or you can turn the switch on. Some people call it a key on. Some people call it a switch. And then you come over here and do this. I'd rather just use the key. Well, it doesn't work all the time. Oh. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. And that rattle you hear when we turn it off is that thing. I just realized something. This is the dash lights, and it's all the way up, which means they're not functioning. It's got an Alpine stereo. In 1984, that was high quality. It still works, so we'll keep it. Here you go, sweeter. Okay. So this one has a little more fancy pants get up in the back. The seats are fancier. It's got little spots on the sides to put your stuff. It's got ashtray right here, ashtray right here, ashtray right here. So you can smoke anywhere inside this luxury vehicle. And if you come into this one,
you can only smoke up front. Now it had ashtrays in the wall. It had one over there. So there's the carpet for it. Let's see if she cranks this morning. This engine is so much better. I'm talking about absolutely amazing. And if I can find somebody who knows what they're doing, because I don't, I want it right here. I want that right here. And I wonder how easy it is to make an electric one that crank back up and down. Anyone have any ideas? These are power. I know what you're thinking. Power is probably better. But it's not. I did blow it out and that gets all the stuff broken up from everywhere else. What is that? Oh, that's the uh, the thing to flip the tire. I mean, to change the tires. You know what I could do? I have new carpet. I could just rip all this nasty carpet out and put the new carpet in it. But I don't know. I'm going with the easy stuff first. The breather. The breather. Get this hideous monstrosity. Big nasty. Oh. Nasty. Nasty. And put this one back on here where it goes what I don't understand I wonder if this is original electronic fuel ignition that's the same thing as something my little oh blue and we're in the zone Back with the same problem. How this guy busted the metal out right there and made such a big old hole. I say, guy, girls are smarter than this. That's what needs to be there. And this one has a big old busted out hole, which means it's going to be loud. I'm doing that again. So we got to do some little old Tom Footwurry there. I think I just figured out my solution. What, darling? A ton of hair down in here. A TOH? <laughs> I know there's not many things nasty as OPH, other people's hair. But even though we have friends who have beautiful hair, we still don't want to sleep in it and lay on it. You're doing a fantastic job. Thank you. You're welcome. My pleasure. You enjoy. Thank you for having me. Let me get this thing cleaned up, woman. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I took this off. It was not easy getting that on down there. But I think I can simply move this out of the way like that. And I need somewhere to put you. I don't have anywhere to put you. But what I'm going to try to do is take that piece of gas line and take the screw that goes in there and that screws in nice and snug enough to uh, hold that down because that's not going to have any overaction with it that barely fits in there i wish it fit better than that but actually that might be best that it's resting on there so it doesn't bounce around I can put it like that, and like that, and like that, and the screw in here like that. I know what you're thinking. Dude, you have no sense. You gotta get all mad about it. Maybe a little too high. We need it shorter. I just happened to own one of these. These are really nice. 
Is anybody else like me? If you see a tool on the road, you stop and pick it up. I've picked up sockets and screwdrivers and everything. So let's, uh, I can't believe it just dropped that on the ground. Well, I found it on the ground. So that sits in there nicely now. It's a lot lower. And we simply screw that screw into that rubber tube. And it shouldn't bounce around. Then we put the other one back here. It's gonna go right there in a minute. And we tighten it up. And then we put this back on here. It got ripped off on the other one. I just learned a valuable lesson. You do this first before. And that needs to be loosened. Then you need a real long screwdriver to reach that. That one should work. Then you unscrew this. You listen to the train in the distance. These 89s came with a screwdriver holder right there. If you get anything newer, it won't have it. And you put that on there, and you put that back on there. And you screw that there. That is so convenient. That screwed there, that screwed there. You take your long screwdriver and you put this back on. You really need a long one. I need one longer, but I'm thinking this will work. Then you put that back in your screwdriver holder. You take your tin. I've got a million sockets and I've got 110. Only one. And you snug this back up. Consider yourself snugged, consider yourself snugged. So other than a little bit of a squeaky valve, it sounds like a car engine again and not a four-wheeler. You can hear the headers a little bit. We've done the fun of everything in here works. That little piece of rubber keeps it's just sitting on there and it bounces if it needs to. That's just seated in the wall. And then my intake hose is down there. So I think we're set up and ready. This is broke right here due to due to whatever. Somebody broke it. But I'm not gonna take this whole radiator mount out of here. Actually, I might someday. If that engine gets pulled and put in here, then that may happen. Floor mats are in the cleaning and drying phase. Now we're going to take it to the car wash. At the car wash, ah, oh, bumblebee tuna. Then I got to take it somewhere and get those tires put on here because these are old and those are not. Do, do. Yeah, I could do. I don't know. Cruising. We're at a steady 50 miles per hour. Please buckle your seatbelt. It's funny, there's a horn button right there, which is useless. <laughs> oh, did I do that? Yes! <laughs> Run a wiper zone. <laughs> so, this is supposed to be where you squirt for the hood. I, I just did that? Yes, you did. That's got a horn button on it. <laughs> Let's do this again. Hang on. Oh, no, you funny. watch the thing. No one. Oh. Okay. okay, here we go. Okay, okay. I'm pushing this button. <laughs> I wondered why there was no action. That's funny. Uh oh, I see another. Um... I know, there's a couple of dings in the windshield. So that's why. <laughs> 
They're supposed to be up here. I guess that's broke. And I just figured out another rattling sound. It was that ashtray right there. I was doing this. Can you hear the... I'm sorry. I know it's loud, wasn't it? I was trying to get let the people see. I know what people are thinking. How in the world can I drive around with you when you're making so much distraction? Sometimes you just got to go to a car wash. She needs a little bit of an alignment. And we'll figure that out later. This is like being able to go to Six Flags, but it doesn't cost as much. It's coming along better. Look a little bit better on the inside and the outside. I'm not sure what to do about that. Still got to figure out the doors. The tires and wheels didn't do anything different, so they're going to stay there where they are. There's where you open the hood. I don't know if you ever knew that. I'm going to check this out. This thing had no gap. And it was rubbing the paint on the whole side. So I changed that. But now I can't get it to pop up. It's looking better, isn't it? You're getting the other people's DNA out. She's working strong in the back. Oh, she missed some. This is other people's pine straw. OPPS. Are you done with OBPS? Ooh, look at that nasty. Funky Comadina on my fingers. I need my rag back. It may seem odd, but I really like in here clean. What if I want to get in here to have lunch or something? Then it needs to be clean. Geronimo's checking out the new ride. We gotta go purple because purple's are stuff. What do you think about it? Well, that one's got some blemishes. What do you think? Pretty cool. Really? Heavy. You're so phony. I you want to give her another chance to give me a good thumbnail. Let's try a pose. Oh, that was freaky. Okay, stop. She got the, uh, she got the family crest. <laughs> I think we're done with round one. I got a red sharpie and touched up all the little mixed up spots. I painted all that down there black again. Even the pipe. I know it may not stay on the pipe, but you know, who cares? I painted those ugly toe hitches on the front. And she's doing some final touch ups there that we can do much with. Let's see the inside one more time. They can span. These are broken in all of them for some reason, but the benefit of this one is all the pieces are in there. So maybe I'll get them out and do some famous super glue. I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching our videos.